Hallelujah. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. And that is a local church service that was denied their rights to practice their religion because of a government bureaucrat that decided to do it anyway, but inside of a Walmart. Pretty brilliant, uh, if you ask me, and exposes a lot of the bigger big brother government hypocrisies that we're seeing exposed right now. Which is definitely ramping up along with the checkpoints, threats, and even a new power that a government is trying to empower itself with that you won't believe that we're going to be going over in this video, as well as the latest information of some bureaucrats trying to live you defenseless, hating yourself so you could be a good little corporate slave for the establishment that also wants to be the Doth police. You know, we're just going to be updating you about the enslavement of humanity, plus a lot more, all on this independent media organization. But hey, at least I get to say that our make Orwell fiction again gear is definitely becoming more prophetic and relevant. But yeah, that's uh, exactly where we are right now. And before we get into all the most important latest updates of exactly what's going on, I wanted to remind everyone to please pretty 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 please sign up on our email list it doesn't cost you anything you don't lose anything it's one sure way to make sure that we are in direct contact with you that there is no draconian totalitarian power hungry monopoly standing in the way between you and me and i'm definitely planning on ramping up operations doing a lot more which will not be on this youtube channel it will predominantly all be on our email list to get it first sign up on the email list make sure it is not in your spam box or promoted box clicking not spam on your email actually also helps us dramatically as well so again trust me there never has been more of an opportune time than to be in direct contact with us since we're going to be focusing on a lot of solutions very soon which again we won't and, and can't do on this platform so again Get on the email list as soon as you can. Now, as you know, yesterday, one of the top stories that we covered was, of course, the New York City resident and chief Bozo de Clown mayor, <laughs> Mr. Bill de Blasio, announcing that he is setting up, quote, safety and security checkpoints. Wait, huh? When in history did government having full power over your life, over your business, over where you can and cannot go, checkpointing you, asking for your papers, where has that gone wrong? I, I, I just can't think of it. Anyway, this is a major development that, of course, New York City politicians criticized other states for doing previously before, but now they're doing it themselves. New York City also announced very heavy fines for people that don't go along with the draconian laws that they are pushing. And of course, we have to understand that this will be selectively and randomly enforced since, of course, New York City does not have the manpower and the employees to literally talk to every single person coming in and out of the major metropolitan area and today we're finding out that these checkpoints are just as incompetent as the political leadership in new york city as people are walking past these quote professional <laughs> contract tracers which looks like very confident government employees which which you know all government employees, including at the DMV, are very competent and always the best that the government can can muster up. And we're seeing a crap ton of people just walk past, ignoring them. There was an empty table set up by the city that was one of these checkpoints. Some sheriffs tried to set up some road patrols. New York City is again asking people to quarantine if they came from pretty much the majority of the United States. And even though this form of tracing is utterly incompetent, we also have to understand that the city is spying on individuals and their cell phone locations. As many people report that even without having contact with one of these contact tracers, that the city of New York contacted them after somehow finding out that they were in one of these, these states, yes, New York City is literally spying on its residents through their geolocation, most likely through their cell phones, and then contacting them, telling them to get tested. Again, there's been a lot of questions surrounding these tests. Or to self-isolate for two weeks. And if you thought that wasn't outrageous... Los Angeles had to outdo New York City like they always attempt to do, with the Los Angeles mayor going mad with power and threatening to shut off water and power to individuals that have people gathering at their house. And if you thought that wasn't enough, in the United Kingdom, a town council ruled 
that the government has the power to bulldoze someone's home in order to, quote, fight this outbreak. And, and again, when we look at a lot of these attempts here, whether it's checkpoints, shutting off electricity, shutting off water, which is a human right, one, it still never deals with the hypocrisy of many of these government officials promoting and calling for people to protest and mass gather just a few days ago. And two, there's not a lot of scientific data showing that they actually work in either way. And, and how does bulldozing someone's house freaking do anything? I'm sorry, I don't what? It, it really just seems that right now we have reached a point where government officials are just pushing the limit to see how far they could push it and how much they could get away with. Again, I'm still an individual that says take your personal health very seriously related to this situation, but there's so much data coming out highlighting how, how these efforts by these plutocrats who are obviously using these enforcements for political reasons are absolutely ridiculous. They don't work, they don't help anyone except to empower individuals with power that they should never have. All the while, things that are showing some promising results, especially with preliminary data, and have less side effects of Tylenol, you know, something that's been out for 65 years given to pregnant women and children, that somehow is deemed dangerous by government officials and the mainstream media. So yeah, if you really want to help people and, 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 and make sure that they're taken care of one, deal with that situation. Two, tell people about their immune system and how they need proper sleep, exercise, and diet. Yeah, you know, it would be a novel idea that you have to take care of yourself, that you have to work on yourself in order to freaking not get sick. So if you really care about making people healthy and them not getting sick, focus on that instead of giving insecure, pathetic human beings who are, quote, politicians more power that they're going mad with. But if turning off your electricity, your water, finding you, track tracing you, surveilling you, spying on you wasn't enough, now we're seeing a concerted effort in New York City and in Washington, D.C. to get rid of the NRA. The NRA, by the way, that has been criticized by even many people on the right for just being absolutely inadequate. But we have to understand that it's still a symbol and representation of the Second Amendment. It's, it's one of the most prominent groups that promotes the Second Amendment. Even though they do a very poor job at it, they, they still at least do that. And now they're targeted by the attorney generals of very liberal jurisdictions that want to dissolve and get rid of them entirely. And you would think with, with so many things going on with this sickness, with this unrest, that this wouldn't be a priority, but it is for some government officials that are drunk with power. Since, of course, you having the power to arm yourself doesn't leave you defenseless like your owners want you to be. And that's why they're going after the NRA, which the NRA will be using this situation as a way to raise more money and to sit on their butts as more of your rights are taken away. And again, we have to understand here, what is happening here is not for your safety. It's not for your security. It's not for your best interest. It's for power. As we're seeing other prominent individuals like James O'Keefe being denied his ability to have firearms because the FBI classified him as a convicted felon, which he is not. And I had a very similar situation where the federal authorities said I was convicted of a crime and they used that fake record, which wasn't true, as an order to deny me entry into Canada and ban me from that country for 10 years. And after years of, of problems and litigation and having to hire a lawyer and go through the court proceedings, I was finally somehow able to overturn this idiotic rule over me, which was completely doctored and faked. Now they're doing this to James O'Keefe in a very similar fashion, denying him his ability to have firearms. And that's not the only form of defense that is becoming more and more outlawed as we're seeing numerous grotesque events specifically in Europe where people are being arrested after stopping people with force after they tried to steal their children away from them yes there's a lot of child trafficking that happens in Europe and there's many instances where people who stop this trafficking who defend themselves who beat up people who are trying to steal children people like that being arrested Meanwhile, the actual criminals, the, the people who actually commit the crimes, 
Well, they are the ones that are being actually arrested instead of the actual criminals. And we've seen this with the McCloskeys in St. Louis. We've seen this in other cases where people rightfully defend themselves against attackers. And this happens in major metropolitan areas like New York City, where it's illegal for you to defend yourself. It's illegal for you even to carry pepper spray on you. Yes, if you have pepper spray, you will be arrested, put in handcuffs, and put in the jail in New York City. Defending yourself is not an option, and that's what these crazy, sick individuals want for everyone. And that's a future that I don't want for myself or my future children. And as more insane government policies are spread in order to push division, in order to make you hate yourself, in order to make you defenseless, all in the name of exactly the opposite of what they promote, speaking the truth about it also puts you in danger as we're seeing massive waves of censorship, even against campaigns that go against some of the major abuses that are going out there. Again, you really have to ask yourself what's going on when independent reporters, researchers, people who question the official narrative are being destroyed, deleted left, right, and center everywhere, but people who hurt and abuse children are still given leeway online. And one thing we have to understand is that these people have a lot more power than we think. When you have the power to decide what the US president can and cannot say, that's real power. It's such a massive power that it puts us all in danger, because as we know, power corrupts absolute, power corrupts absolutely. And recently, Facebook and Twitter literally removed videos, censored the US president from getting his message out, which they disagreed with. Now, there's some scientists that are backing the president. There's some scientists that are not bracking the US president on some of his claims, and we have to make people aware of that to give you the full side of the story here so you can make up your own opinion. But when we have big tech monopolies deciding what you can and cannot hear, overruling the US president, which by this action they symbolize they have more power than him, we have to understand that we are in a very precarious situation that should wake you up and understand that you should always seek and look for alternatives to the big tech monopolies. Again, this is why we're saying please sign up on our email list. It is more important than ever. So yeah, that's our situation <laughs> right now. It's a crazy one. It feels like America is just being torn to shreds right now between the divide and conquer agenda that is successfully being played out there. And again, we have to ask ourselves, why it's being successfully played out there, who's responsible, what the mainstream media is pushing, what the mainstream media pushed before, whether it was WMDs or big banker bailouts. We have to understand the mainstream media is a tool of the special interests to push their agenda. That's why they're trying to destroy and censor anyone speaking out against it. There's very few voices like me still around, and I'm predominantly here because of you by sharing this video, getting it out there, and most importantly, supporting independent media. Love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.